So we have our schematic. We know various resistances. Resistance uh, A, or do I have all this stuff? Oh, resistance A, here it is. Resistance A is equal to 5.0 ohms. Resistance B is equal to 7.0 ohms. Uh, resistance C is equal to 4.0 ohms, which is the same as resistance D and resistance of resistor E. And resistance of resistor F is equal to 2.0 ohms. We also know the electric potential difference across the battery or the terminal voltage is 14 volts. We are, of course, not going to solve for what they asked us to solve for. Why would we do that? We are instead going to figure out the power dissipated in resistor A. Power dissipated in resistor A. In other words, resistor A is converting X number of joules per second of electrical potential energy into heat, light, and sound energy. Let's start with where we're going to end, which is power. So we need to figure out what it is that we need to get in order to get to the electrical power. There are three equations for electrical power. Mitch, please give me all three. Um, P power equals current times electric potential difference, which equals current squared times resistance, which equals electric potential difference squared divided by resistance. I've added subscripts of A to everything there because we're trying to figure out the power dissipated by resistor A. We know resistance A. We know the resistance of it. So we need either the current across resistor A or we need the electric potential difference across resistor A. Either one. The first thing we're going to do in order to get there is to figure out the equivalent resistance of the load. In order to do that, we need to do a step-by-step -step process. We need to look at the circuit and figure out uh, resistors that are either in series or in parallel. So when you look at this, Pooja, do you see any resistors that are either in series or in parallel? I'm sorry, say again? Yes, just give me one. Just give me an example. Resistance R, resistance, uh, resistors A and B are in series. Therefore, equivalent resistance A, B is equal to what, Hedler? Hedler, that's sad. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't have my tea this morning. You did not have your tea. Does your tea usually have caffeine in it? Or is it, it just, it does. I can see why. And sugar usually. Fair enough. Uh, Duval, res equivalent resistance A, B is equal to? Feel free to stand if that's an issue. It doesn't matter to me, but you're gonna, not going to fall asleep. Sorry. RA plus RB. R? R? Oh, resistance A plus B. Resistance of A plus resistance of B. Because they're in series, they simply add. So we have 5 plus 7, which gives us 12 ohms. We have equivalent resistance AB. If we replace resistors A and B, we can replace them with one resistor, which has a resistance of 12 ohms. There's one other one that we can do before I redraw the circuit diagram. Sims, what else do you see? R? We could come up with equivalent resistor DE. What is the equation for equivalent resistor DE, Carlon? Um, resistor D plus resistor E. It is not equal to resistor D plus resistor E. Why not? Um, on. Since they're parallel, it's equal to one over resistor D plus one over resistor E, and then all to the negative one power. If they had been in series, you would have been correct, but because they're in parallel, this is the correct equation to use. So we have 1 over D, which was 4, plus 1 over E, which is also 4, both 4 ohms. Therefore, we get 2 ohms as the equivalent resistance DE. Again, when you add resistors in series, the resistance increases. When you add resistors in parallel, the resistance decreases. So when you add resistors in parallel, again, the resistance decreases. Now, we can replace our resistors. Instead of having resistors A and B, we have an equivalent resistor A, B. We have equivalent resistor, or sorry, we have resistor C. And instead of having resistors D and E, we have equivalent resistor D, E. 
So I've redrawn the circuit diagram, replacing each of the, the resistors with their equivalent resistors to make it easier to see what is next. What now can we do? Emily X. Um, uh, solve for resistance of the we have an equivalent resistance A, B, C. What is the equation for the equivalent resistance A, B, C? Wicked. Um, one over resistance A, B, plus one over resistance C. Why is that the equation? Because they're in parallel. Because they're in parallel. Great. So equivalent resistance A, B is 12 plus resistor C is 4. So 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 all raised to the negative 1 power. Three ohms. Okay, so now we can replace equivalent our resistors A B and resistor C with one resistor. We now have equivalent resistor A B C, equivalent resistor D E, and resistor F. Lily, what, what do you see here? They are all in series. Therefore, we have an equation for the equivalent resistance of the entire load is equal to what is the equation now, Mr. Chen? Um, is it just R series equals, R I mean, resistor, sorry. Uh, <laughs> resistor of the series is equal to resistor um, ABC plus resistor DE plus resistor F. In this particular case, I'm putting the equivalent resistance because this is for the, it's the last one. So this is the equivalent resistance for the entire load is equal to equivalent resistor A, B, C, which was 3 plus D, E, resistor D, D, which is 2 plus resistance F, which is also 2. So we get 7 ohms. So we have figured out the equivalent resistance of the load. In other words, we could remove all uh, six of the batteries and simply replace them with one resistor which would have an equivalent resistance of seven ohms. Did you mean to say battery or resistor? Did I say, uh, sure, I meant whatever I didn't say. <laughs> what I said in my head, I just didn't comment. What happens as a teacher, a lot of times we think about what's next, because now I'm thinking about what's next. I apologize if I said something wrong, I don't know what it was, but I'm sure I said something wrong. Okay, so we now, we've replaced the equivalent, or all the resistors with one equivalent resistor. Yay. I still don't know what to do. Because we come back to what we're trying to find, which was the power dissipated by resistor A. We said we need to figure out the current delivered by resistor A, or the electric potential difference, or sorry, the current dissipated by resistor A. Oh no, that's not correct. The current through resistor A, or the electric potential difference across resistor A. What can we use the equivalent resistance to find if we have three and a half minutes? I'll run. Denner. We could figure out the value of the terminal current. How are we going to do that? In other words, the electric potential difference across the battery, the terminal voltage is equal to the current delivered by the battery times the equivalent resistance. We have the equivalent resistance and the terminal voltage, therefore we can figure out the current delivered by the battery. It is equal to the, equi the terminal voltage divided by the equivalent resistance, or 14 divided by 7. The current delivered by the battery is 2 amps. Why is this helpful? The current delivered by the battery, the current through the equivalent resistor is 2 amps. Low. Uh, the current is the same throughout. Right, so this is equal to what specifically? It's not equal to the current of A. You gotta go back one step. What is it equal to? Wicked. The current of ABC. The current of ABC, just to be clear, what else? And? So we go back one step. It is the current delivered by the battery. It is also the current through the other three resistors that are left there. Good, we have figured out the, the current through equivalent resistor A, B, C. We can use this to figure out what? 
Come on, I've got like two minutes. Uh, I, try, I agree with that, but it's not going to get us there. Uh, we could figure out the electric potential difference across ABC because equal to the current across through ABC times the resistance of ABC. We have all of this information. 2 times equivalent resistor ABC is 3, so we know this is 6 volts. The electric potential difference across ABC, this guy right here, why is that helpful? What is this also equal to? Minute and a half. Riku. Resistance of AB. This is not equal to the resistance of AB. This electric potential difference across ABC. Go back one step. Danner. It's equal to the electric potential difference of AB plus C. It's equal to the electric potential difference across AB and equal to the electric potential difference across C because they are in parallel, right? So now we have the electric potential difference across AB. We can come back to our equation we just used for current. We know the current across AB is equal to the electric potential difference across AB divided by the resistance of AB. We have both the 6 divided by the resistance of AB. Equivalent resistance AB is 12. In other words, it's 0 0.5 amps. We've now figured out the current through resistor AB. Go back one step. This is also the current through what? Nikolai. This is equal to the current through resistor A and equal to the current through resistor B because they are in series. Now, we go back to what we were originally trying to find, which was power. All we needed was the current or the electric potential difference. We now have the current through resistor A. So the power dissipated by resistor A is equal to the current across resistor A squared times the resistance of A, or 0 0.5 squared times the resistance of A, which was 5. In other words, 1.25 with two sig figs rounds to 1.2. It's the odd rounding rule, the arcane rounding rule, watts. 1.2 watts. Ladies and gentlemen, people, give me another 10 seconds. I understand that it looks daunting because of all the stuff that's on there, but please notice that no single step was actually all that complicated. You just need to use all of the information you know about resistors in series and parallel and work step by step. But don't you worry, you'll get more opportunities to practice that. Have a beautiful weekend. I apologize for taking an extra 15 to 20 seconds of your time.